Hello and welcome to class. So today's class is for anybody with a headache and that is me right now. So I wanted to share a few movements that help me. Obviously it's not necessarily ibuprofen or Excedrin proof, but hopefully this helps in some capacity. A couple things that help during this time, super cute puppies, plenty of water, and most of all for me is trying to get an extra hour or two of sleep if possible. So even if it's just a habit before bed, whether it's turning off the TV or putting down the book or whatever the case is to get that additional 45 minutes to an hour um, seems to be very helpful. And obviously if you can get on your mat and take your time doing a few nurturing movements, that always helps myself. So I wanna share that with you. And we're going to stay low, so not going to do anything uh, with balance standing up. So hopefully that helps you stay grounded. And if you're suffering from any kind of vertigo or stuff that's going on with your equilibrium, just see if this works for you or not. You don't want to be moving around a lot. So I commend you for being here, just trying to take care of yourself because it is tough um, when you're feeling like this and trying to keep going with your day. So please join me in a couple of these movements. Okay, so optional props are a pillow or a bolster and a blanket. Not needed, that's actually going to be for some support in child's pose. And if you wanna just take a traditional child's pose, no need with the props, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. You're gonna take a comfortable seat, scoop the glutes out. Maybe you're leaning up against a wall, sitting in a chair or sitting in the middle of the room. Legs can be crossed in Sukhasana, maybe bringing the legs forward. Just kind of see what works here. You wanna be comfortable. This is not about anything fancy whatsoever. And draw the shoulders back and down. Find a placement for the hands that just feels natural. Where did they just fall? Just let them be. Close the eyes if you would like, if you want to keep the eyes open, just a soft gaze. And in your own time, part the lips, open the mouth, take a big exhale. And if you're still fidgeting a little bit, that's fine. I invite you to just extend the arms and shake the head. Maybe even make that sound with the cheeks. Let it go. If you want to stay still, just stay there. Take the jitters, let them go. And then come back to that comfortable seat. Okay? Hmm. Much better. <laughs> and start to feel the hips grounding into the earth. And take your time as you dip the chin release it down and just take the head from side to side doesn't matter where you start just go at your own pace okay. if you would like to add soft ujjayi breath seal the lips together in and out through the nose it doesn't have to be super aggressive just something to cycle through this movement and all the movements following. Soft in the face, so unhinge your jaw. Allow the eyebrows to soften so the third eye can release. No frowning here. Allow the lids to be heavy. And gently take the left ear to the left shoulder. Draw the shoulders back and down. And notice if the shoulders are rolling forward and you're starting to move forward. Imagine you're leaning up against a wall. If you're not on one already, draw the shoulders back and down. And allow the shoulders to release down the back. Feeling that opening in the right side of your neck. Okay. And then right ear to the right shoulder. Oof, you might be getting a few adjustments. I know I am. I always call that the sound of 
success, the sound of release. Mm. And in your own time, take the left ear to the left shoulder. Right ear, right shoulder. Okay, so take that one more time on each side or just rock it from left to right if you want to keep moving with it. And wherever you are, just take about 10 breaths. So if you're just holding it on the left and then the right side, five breaths each. If you're rocking from side to side, just take it for 10 breaths. Mm. Last five breaths. I don't know about you, but just these tiny little movements are already helping me and releasing the pain and the pressure that is happening with my headache. Hmm. And wherever you are, slowly come back to center. Okay, just pause for a moment. You might get a little rush, that's normal. And in your own time, either stay there or gently drop the chin once more and side to side, neutralizing the neck. Mm. So our head weighs about as much as a bowling ball. It's pretty heavy, so our little necks are holding up a lot here. We've got a lot going on, so just taking time to pay attention to this neck space, to this throat chakra area is pretty sweet. I personally need to pay more attention to this area in my own vessel. And slowly come back to center, lift the gaze so the eyes go ahead and slowly open them, soft gaze. I know even light, light right now is tough, so keeping the eyes closed feels great. So just a soft gaze so it's not too much of a shock to the system. All right, so we're going to take a supported child's pose. If you want to take traditional child's pose with no support, not a problem, okay? So if you're taking traditional child's pose or supported, go ahead and come onto your mat. Big toes come together, knees go wide, and come on back. You can extend the arms forward and gently place the forehead onto the earth. Okay, if you want to take that supported child's pose, go ahead and grab your bolster or your pillow right between this shape, okay? And you're going to come down and hug the bolster. I'm gonna be sitting up so I can direct you with the microphone, but just go ahead and hug the bolster and stay down for a few breaths. And you'll rest that left cheek to begin. So stay down there and I'm gonna stay up to guide on the breath work. So once you're down, just release the hips back and down, release the shoulders back and down, open the mouth and exhale. And see how heavy you can get in this shape as the earth is completely supporting you here. Okay, we're going to come into the breath. So once more, exhale through the mouth. Seal the lips together. Inhale through the nose for four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top. Four, three, two, one, exhale through the nose, four, three, drop the hips, two, one, and one more. Inhale through the nose, four, three, two, one, hold it at the top, four, three, 
two, one, exhale through the nose, four, three, two, one, and release. So release that breath count. You can exhale through the mouth. If there's extra air, let it go. And just relax here for a few more breaths. Maybe visualizing the pain of this headache just seeping into the earth, just allowing that heaviness to visually, as you see it, come out of your vessel, land onto the earth, and feel the lightness. So don't move at all, but in your own time, we're going to switch cheeks. So if you're on that supported child's pose, go ahead and take the right cheek, hug the bolster, the pillow, the blanket, and bring it on down. Big exhale through the mouth. Seal the lips together. Inhale through the nose for four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top. Four, three, two, one, exhale through the nose, four, drop the shoulders, drop the hips, three, two, one, once more, inhale, four, fill up, three, fill up, fill up, two, one, hold it at the top, relax your shoulders, four, three, two, one, exhale, four, drop the shoulders, drop the hips, three, two, one. If there's any extra air, open the mouth, <sighs> let it go. So sink deeper here, a few more breaths. Okay, I'm going to give you one option now. You can stay right where you are if you're in that supported child's pose or take your time as you slowly make your way up. We're going to move into a traditional child's pose, but as I mentioned, if you're good where you are, just stay there. I'm going to take it for just a few more breaths. If you're not already in that child's pose, you have the option to move into it releasing the support, come down deeper and ground down further, releasing the third eye onto the earth. Arms are extended in front of you. If it feels better to take the arms around the body and rest the shoulders a little bit more restorative, that's an option as well. And just take about eight more breaths here. Notice if that grounding point, whether it's on the bolster, the pillow, or straight onto the earth, is allowing the pain to just completely release, the heaviness to release from the region that it has been living in. Use this grounding point to serve you to release the pain and the heaviness. Oof.
Take your time. We're going to start to make our way up. Nice and easy. Don't shock the system. Take it in slow-mo. Walk it back. Walk it back. Walk it back. In your own time, you can take the props off to the side if you have them. And just stay here for a moment. Just pause. Eyes can be closed or soft gaze. Big inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And take your time as you lift the hips. Take the feet forward in front of you. I'm going to come into a Shavasana. So at this point, if you want to crawl in bed or you're, you want to take your prop under the knees, that's a nice option, or just come into your regular Shavasana. Those are all options. Okay, so just come on into this shape. So traditional Shavasana with the legs out. Maybe you crawled into bed or maybe you've got some support under the knees. Okay, so go ahead and release the fidgeting. Find the comfortable Shavasana that you would like to take. If you want to cover the eyes with anything, that's a nice option as well. I know light intensifies things in this time. And take a big exhale through the mouth. Drift away. And melt. So staying exactly where you are, option to stay here as long as you would like. Are beginning to move with me as you wiggle the ankles, the toes, the wrists and the fingers. Inhale the arms up and overhead. Rolling over onto one side and in your own time coming into your comfortable seat. Keeping the eyes closed, bringing the hands to heart center. Thank yourself for taking this time even with the way that you've been feeling to nurture yourself. 
and use this practice to release any of that heaviness that's ongoing. You can come back to this anytime. Get that sleep, drink some water, slowly opening the eyes, soft gaze. Namaste. Hope you feel a little bit better.